All right. I know a lot of you are probably thinking about down the road about buying um, a Smith machine. A lot of you have used racks before and free weights, and they're great. Smith machines, however, permit you to lift without the use of a spotter. Um, and they also can prevent injuries, or if you have an injury, um, it can make lifting a little bit a little bit more fun. Um, what makes a good Smith machine? Well, there are a lot of good Smith machines out there. Um, don't get me wrong. You know, there are Smith machines that you can purchase at Dunham's or Sports Authority, and they're, they're okay Smith machines. Um, however, the price you're going to pay for a Smith machine and a rack that is not commercial quality um, is probably comparable to what you will pay for a used, good quality commercial um, piece of strength equipment. I've got a Nebula Smith behind me here that I actually traded a 46-inch TV for um, that was used, and I got two other pieces of commercial Smith machine via Craigslist. And hey, I'm isolated up here in the North Woods, so those of you who live in Minneapolis or Chicago should have no problem finding good quality um, used commercial Smith machines or gym equipment. What makes a commercial machine different from something you're going to find at Dunham's or eBay, and I'm not knocking uh, Weeder Smith machines or Gold's Gym Smith machines, but they just do not have the quality, the, the lasting ability um, that you'll find in a commercial machine like this. What makes this machine, and this is a $4,500 machine if you were to buy this new six or seven years ago, um, is what's in here. This is where you'll find the linear bearings. And linear bearings, there are probably a two or three hundred little tiny bearings that are probably a quarter of the size of the BB that ride up and down on this guide post here. This is a one inch solid steel post. If you buy a machine from Dunham's or other places, you might have um, a hollow post. And you probably won't get. Um, linear bearings. What you'll get is a plastic sleeve that you lubricate with WD-40 that rides up and down on a guide post. And if you get a little bit crooked, it will stop on you. It'll just, it'll stop. Or this, doesn't matter how you press on this bar, this machine is smooth as silk. And I'll give you an example. Listen to how smooth this is. I mean, this machine, it just floats. And that's the way a good quality Smith machine should act um, when you are using it. Um, it's much more fun when you look at, when you work out and you have a, sh a machine that is good quality, that doesn't creak, that doesn't jam, that'll last you forever, um, look at getting a used commercial Smith machine. Some names you want to look for is Nebula. This is a Nebula. Hammer Strength. I carry in Trotter. Um, they all make really good quality Smith machines. Um, what's nice about these as well is, you know, this frame is built on a quarter inch steel, or it's possibly even thicker. It weighs 600 pounds, the Smith machine weighs. Um, a lot of machines do not have the welds quality. They do not have the stability that a machine like this has. So it's your choice. You can go and buy a used Smith for seven fifty or a grand that will last you forever, because everything is replaceable on these. If my bearings go, all I do is I unbolt it here, here, and here. This whole assembly comes off. I slide a new sleeve on and bolt it back up. And hey, I'm good to go for another twenty years. So you take care of it. Um, it'll last you a long time. If you have any questions, uh. Message me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.